Okay, welcome to this week's What's Up with the Node Collaborators. This time we're going to do something a little bit different. We've mostly had core collaborators, but of course the ecosystem is much bigger than that. Um, so today I have with me Mark Irish, who's a uh, maintainer of the ODBC NPM package. Before we get started, can you give, a, give your, a little bit of an introduction to yourself? Yeah, my name is Mark Irish. I'm uh, IBMer. Been working at IBM for about four years, and pretty much the entire time, I've uh, been also the maintainer of the ODBC package. It was the first first task that was assigned. Cool. Well, I know OD ODBC is a key package for accessing databases. Um, can you give it a little bit of background how you became one of the maintainers? Sure. So I worked in the open source software team for IBM IM, our business mid range systems. One of the ways that we encourage people to do open source IBM IM is through ODBC. It's available everywhere. We have a you know, really well developed uh, So we were a couple of years ago, if you want to use MapOS for download ODBC package, uh, but we were noticing some performance issues when we were doing the right work, saying, hey, this is performing way worse than the ODBC Java version of the database map connector. So we, you know, kind of looked at we created some PRs, and uh, you know the maintainer sort of let us know that he was too busy to just like code review everything we were giving him, and so we said, well, we'd be happy to take over the project, and he was amenable to that. And so ever since then, uh, I've been the chief maintainer, and I have coworkers in the team that help me with the role of the PRs. Well, that's a success story in open source succession. That's great. Yeah. Were there any uh, pain points along the way? Yeah. The, the biggest one is just like a huge pain point, right? So when I started developing, I had some Node.js experience, but not any sort of C level V800 programming experience. So it was really kind of a trial by fire to understand sort of how the asynchronous threads were working, the whose scope of the JavaScript environment every time I spin off a worker thread. So so that was kind of you know confusing the number of weeks at a time where I was like, so what can V800 does? <laughs> You know, got a string in this context. So, but once it split, you know, it became a lot easier. Yeah, definitely the event loop and some of the knock on definitely has has an effect on that stuff. So, you started the, you mentioned the motivation started out on the performance side. How did that work? Uh, it was great. And so, the, the biggest problems were ODBC related, right? The way that the data was found with ODBC APIs, the way that the data was called. And so, we kind of identified that early on and the changes we made, some of the features uh, that our customers were making saw an 80 times uh, speed improvement, right? Not 80 percent, but 80 times, so that's 80 times faster, right? So, wow, that you know, was right, right, kind of. That's, that's really fantastic, and especially since I know you were using Node API, which you know we we targeted for like the 80 percent versus the absolute fastest speed, but it's amazing that you could make such a big difference. Um, you know, just re-implementing it like that. Yeah, yeah. Our, our Node API implementation is fairly thin. Um, it really does is kind of translate the JavaScript values and the C values and then passes them on to, to the uh, ODBC APIs. Okay, we well, started working on this to address the uh, needs of IBM I customers, but ODBC is used much more broadly than that, right? Yeah, yeah. So we have all sorts of people that use it. There's people that use it to connect to... Uh, Microsoft SQL Server, there's people that can do all sorts of AWS database instances in the cloud, there's people that use it to respond to Excel files and Microsoft Access devices, right? So running the gamut from, you know, I don't know what you want to call it, small time database, data connection, data to these big uh, enterprise ready databases. So it's really challenging because other people have issues, right? They're like, oh, this doesn't work with, you know, semi based version, whatever. And, I don't have access to a database, you know, a database. So I think we need for more clarification what the problem is in it. Yeah, I know. I mean, I've heard of ODBC for like oh, it's got to be 20, 20 years going on, so I know it's been used <laughs> quite a lot. It's it's also really great that we're supporting a package that broadly used. I know, like at, at Red Hat, we've been recently working on something called Kube Service Bindings that lets you do service bindings in Kubernetes. And ODBC was one of the things that we in, incorporated support for along with Postgres, PostgreSQL and MySQL. So just pretty broadly used for sure. Yeah. And that's hopefully a good testament to the work that you know, our team has done. 
that we've that we've done this the right way. It seems like over the years we get more and more um, weekly downloads, right? So people are seeing value, and hopefully they're not just re-downloading. Hopefully they're running into instant replays. But uh, the number, I think, number of big issues has really dwindled over the last few years, and now it's just kind of kind of smaller, smaller things. That's great. Um, so it sounds like you've done a lot of great work so far. Any future plans for the package? Oh, I have so many plans, things that if I had unlimited time, I would implement. I would really love to um, do a rewrite but with the Node API, the C level. Right now, it's no data on API, the C++ level. And that's really just a preference, right? I, I can understand what's going on with C, the, the C++. But really, it's just a matter of running functionality, right? Every once in a while, we get new requests for APIs. So I think within the last week, we need a couple new functions. Um, and I'm just staying on top of those issues, right? Which is the hardest part for any open source project. Definitely. Well, I think that's all the time we have for this time. Thanks for coming and talking to us. And thanks to all the viewers. And we hope to see you next time. Thanks, Michael.